Hey guys, Adam here from Lawn Hub and welcome back. Now, the much awaited video, I know a lot of you have been asking. The new bucketing machine is in commission. Let's have a look. All right, where do we start, Dylan? All right, we'll start with what's broken. Our accumulator table broke, so, <laughs> so to get a bit of background on this story, this machine was quite custom. There was bits and pieces of this machine that already existed, and then there were things that I want to say Clint and I, but us as a group came together and were like, yeah, I think I think we should actually do that. And we worked with the company that built this, and yeah, a bit of back and forth, and we come back with this. But unfortunately, the accumulator table I think was something that was made on the fly to sort of suit what we needed and in typical lawn hub fashion, we broke it. So that's currently back at the manufacturer being fixed. And as far as I know, it's on its way back. So um, there is a automated accumulator bench here with rollers and it would push the buckets out to the side just in case you had to go and attend to something, you could still make buckets and they'd accumulate here. This is the litter. So this is what crushes the lid on, which we'll show you once we get it going. Uh, this is the litter times two, litter, crusher, this is the litter. Now, unfortunately, and the important thing is that you learn when you do things like this, so the next time you do it, it'll be better. These lids, whilst they're fantastic lids, um, at the stage of manufacturing, they do have a two mil tolerance. So this gap here and this lid don't exactly fit 100% but the lids that we sent fit 100%. So when we when this machine was installed and commissioned, this worked beautifully. So these are four suckers, comes in like that, and then this arm turns it around and puts the lid on and it goes through and gets crushed. Now, um, at the moment, it's, it's actually, it's not ideal, but it does allow us to monitor things a little bit better while we're still working out the kinks. So um, we've sort of started from the back, but that's okay. We'll keep going. Now, ignore this. Um, yeah, ignore this. Um, this. This is the wire. So the way, so the screw feeds the fertilizer into the top hopper. So that's what the top part is. And then you've got two filling stations here. So one on the left, one on the right. Now, unfortunately, the one on the right uh, was DOA. Uh, DOA means dead on arrival. So we're only using the left-hand side. Um, and of course, when you use machinery like this, things don't always go to plan. So we've had to uh, adjust a few settings um, and really hone it in. And yesterday, I was fortunate enough to be on this machine all day and we made over 1160 buckets of fertilizer. I set a goal to myself. Now, when this is all up and running, you'll see what I mean, but this control box here, when a bucket was getting to here, it was dropping fur into the next bucket. Now, because I'm not wired correctly and I think that that's too slow, I then set myself a task to get to the orange stickers here and I'll get onto why there's orange stickers here too. And then I was like, now I'm sick of that, I want it to be quicker. By the end of yesterday, I ended up getting buckets filled by the time the bucket was here. So it was dropping fur, bucket here, boom. So I'm really starting to really motor through. Um, and here's our screens. So, so far this morning, the guys have made 72 buckets of Trojan. Um, and as you can see here, orange means that that left hopper or that left scale is ready to dump and the right side is completely off. You can see that there's 5,008 grams in the butt or the, is in that hopper. Um, and we are, we've got another scale behind me that we test a bucket every now and then just to make sure that it's all good. Um, so all the controls for this area here, are right here, it's very, very finicky. You change things by one or 2% and it's the difference between having 5,008 grams and 5,200 grams. Um, and over the course of yesterday when we did over 1,160 buckets, if each bucket gets 200 grams more, it's good for you guys at home, not so good for us. It means that we're many buckets short from meeting our total that we need from a bulk bag. So um, yeah, really cool there. Yeah, we have started from the back, but it doesn't matter. 
Uh, so the fertilizer will drop in. There's all arms and stuff here. So if we go, we stop this and we go to manual. So obviously you've got the conveyor, which brings the buckets down. You've got a stop bottle, it'll let it in. Then when the bucket gets to the sensor here, the bucket gets pushed in and then the filling valve comes down, fills the fur. I'm not gonna turn the vibrator on because it might be a bit loud. And then pushes the bottle down or the bucket down and away it goes. So pretty cool, but we'll show you that in action. This is the 10, 10 liter slash 10 kilo bucket accumulator. Um, again, it had its, uh, had its problems. It was working ish last week. Um, you can obviously hear that. There's obviously some fertilizer stuck in the rails there, um, which we'll clean. But yeah, this, this machine here, this was existing. So those that are real, real OG fans, back in the day when Reedy and Max were still working here, you would have seen this come off the truck. This has been recycled and reused, um, which helped the pocket a little bit because it was existing machinery. And then here we've got the D stacker. Now, I reckon we get it started. So when you're using the D stacker, you need to make sure that all the lid handles are free. Otherwise, Dylan will insert a photo here of what happened yesterday. So now there's just a little lip here. before the tolerance at manufacturing stage is two mils so some are working and some aren't um, so you know that one but see even then like it's not quite lined up because it wasn't working while well, the tolerance wasn't well the tolerance was out so normally there'd be there'd be a little bit more adjustment so the lid would drop straight on but that's where we're at I reckon that needs some adjusting as well, the roller, because they're just tapping it on by hand at the moment a little bit, just to finish it off. So I don't know how long that was, but that was a run of 15 buckets. It was pretty quick, so it's very efficient. And like I said at the video, I'm not sure if the camera picked it up, but the buckets were being filled before it got to this gate entry here. So that's, that's pretty quick. Very happy with that, means that the guys will be able to punch out there's seven pallets of Trojan here. They may get through them all today. Uh, if not, there's still, you know, a lot of stock being made. Now, I just quickly want to touch on the orange stickers here. Now, they are a top load only sticker, but their action is yesterday when we were making bush, um, we noticed that we're getting some slight scuff marks on the bucket, which we're not about. And we found, with my analogy that I used, if it looks like a duck and it quacks like a duck, it's a duck. The scratch marks were exactly the same size, height and width as the joins, right? So we made the decision, Jesse and I, that we'll just put these stickers on every single join and we didn't really have too much difficulty after that. The only other scratches we got was from the D stacker. You also notice that we do have the same stickers on all the pistons, which stop and let bottles through. Um, they have sharp edges and we just haven't got the, the, the rubber stoppers that we want yet, um, but these are working for now and we have an abundance of these stickers. Um, you would have noticed that this plate here, so it was vibrating when the bucket went in. And what that does is, I've just conveniently got some bush here, bucket. Those of you that have been buying Lawn Hub for many, many years, will sometimes notice that by the time you get your Trojan bucket, the lid, in some cases, bulges, right? So just say, just say that was five kilos. When it goes on the vibrator, it helps settle the prill lower than the rim of the bucket. So normally, in the past, we would do that by hand on a table like this. It takes far too long. 
So that was one of the things that Clint and I really wanted was something to be able to settle the prill. Now that's important because when the litter is working as it should, we wanna be able to just pump them out. We don't wanna to have to worry about the lids not being pressed on correctly because of a bulge of fertilizer. That vibrating plate, mint. So you will notice now that if you do purchase from us, the fertilizer sits quite below, which let's get a test patch. So you can see here that, you know, it's quite below the rim. We really struggled to achieve that before we got this machine. We had to really do it by hand, put the lid on and shake it up and down. So if you do get a bucket of fertilizer from us and you have purchased from us before and you're thinking, hang on a second, that's way too low. That's just a vibrator working. So it's cool feature, has a couple of grease points. So the, um, so you don't get a real big clang clang noise. Um, so Dylan just asked, when is the litter being fixed? Now it's not actually broken. It's just the tolerance of manufacturing because not everything can be perfect. So what we're gonna do is this plate here, we're actually gonna get machined. So the 10, 10 litre litter is just there as well. But uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna get another, maybe two of these done. So it'll be two mils bigger and two mils shorter. Probably start with two mil bigger, cause that's what, I don't know how many lids we got here, probably 20 odd thousand lids. They're all a bit thick. So we'll probably get a new one of these machine cause it's just in by four bolts. And then we can, when we get lids that are these size again, just swap it over. Some quick information for the tech guys. This runs off of a three phase power and air. Um, one of the days we had power, but we didn't, nothing was working. Um, they didn't turn the air compressor on. So it relies heavily on air as well. So yeah, it's quite cool to watch it in action. You may have noticed that it's still a little bit untidy here. Pallet racking was supposed to go up last week. Unfortunately it didn't. That's going up next week. And that's gonna clear out a lot of this junk make it a much more inhabitable work area. Um, habitable. Huh? Habitable. habitable. Habitable work area. But like I said in the video when we took this off, of, or when Rose took it off the truck, this job role or this activity, this position now in this business is far less labor intensive, much easier on the body. I mean, we did, I was here yesterday, did 1160 odd buckets. Was I tired at the end of the day? Sure. But if I did 1160 buckets the old way, I don't even want to imagine how I'd feel today. So um, massive, massive step forward for Lawn Hub's production, um, staff well-being, and overall happiness. Like it was a joy working on this machine yesterday because it was all working as it should, apart from the litter, but that's not a that's not a fault, that's just a manufacturing thing, something we learned. I was able to really fine-tune it and get the fertilizer out into the bucket and the next one in fast and quickly more efficient. So that's essentially what this machine was for. Yeah, obviously it's got the safety barriers to make sure people don't put hands where hands shouldn't be because uh, yeah, we've seen some images in the past of things that have happened at safety trainings and all those sort of things. So yeah, really happy with it. It's not quite finished. It's still a few bits and pieces. Got to get the accumulator table uh, reinstalled and the right hand hopper fixed, because I think that'll speed up production as well. And we've got to have a better air system at the moment. Um, we're thinking of running air through the roof and have outlets on this wall from the compressor rather than having it run on the floor behind the machine here. It's just, just to tidy things up, but it is in operation. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you'd like to see more of these videos, let us know, because we do obviously have the bottling machine um, behind the camera, which we've shown before, but I'm not sure we've done a real in-depth video on it, um, but we can show that too. But this is the bucketing granule machine. Hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you next time.